So, we come to across the third part of this, and that is here we will take Mendeleev periodic table. Now, if we come across for the Mendeleev periodic table to the Russian scientist Dmitry Mendeleev, uh, there was a very important coincidence that there was one more scientist, his name was Lothar Meyer. In the same era, same year, they both performed same type of experiments for the periodic table on the various different form. And they came to same conclusion and was wrong conclusion. Ekne weight ko leke kiya aur ekne volume density curve ko leke kiya. Both came to same uh, conclusion and finally it was found that both were wrong. Phir akhir Mendeleev ko kyun possible ki? Us samay pe Russia bho powerful tha. Jaise is samay America hai. Indians bhi koi kaam karte hai toh baat pe urdhu mil jata hai. But Mendeleev was a person who has been given a credit to prepare first periodic table. Now up to now we were discussing about attempt of periodic classification. They were not periodic table. Abhi tak hamne jo padha us mein koi periodic table nahi tha. So attempt to classification. Classify elements. Now here we get the first periodic table. Now this periodic table has a law which is commonly known as Mendeleev periodic law which says that the properties for the physical and chemical the properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic masses sometimes people say atomic weight at the end of this we will be giving a dictation of NCRT part of Mendeleev periodic law but Mendeleev says that when elements are arranged in increasing atomic weight in that condition the elements have their variation in the properties physical and chemical and they follow the variation according to as the atomic mass increases so whenever elements are arranged in increasing atomic weight the properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic weight now what this periodic function means Periodic function means they are changing after certain period. Now this period is nothing to do with time. This period is the interval of elements. After every different interval of elements, the properties are repeated. Because sometimes what we get confused that period is time. So here period is not related to time, but it is related to certain interval of certain group of elements. After certain increase of element, then the properties are again repeated. So they are placed one above other. And in this way, he gave two forms of arrangement. One is vertical arrangement and another is horizontal arrangement. Horizontal arrangement, he called it as a series. And vertical, he called it as a family. And this classified the elements in nine vertical column and seven horizontal rows. See? Horizontal rows kidney are seven and vertical column in there? Nine. And the vertical columns <coughs> were known to be family. And horizontal rows were known to be Then there was an important characteristic of this periodic table for still we know the validity that he kept vacant spaces. He kept certain vacant spaces for undiscovered element. And when they were discovered, astonishingly they were found at the same position kept by left by Mendeleev. That is Ekka Mercury. Ekka aluminium, Ekka boron. <coughs> Ekka boron, Ekka aluminium, Ekka mercury. 
Then we discuss about if it was so correct, it was so valuable that the undiscovered elements were discovered and they found the same position. But why this was discarded? Why the why the need of modern periodic table came to existence? The reason behind discovery of two things. One was isotope and isobars. Isotopes and isobars. General way. When you see an army, you see that there are two people. And there are two people. And there are two people. So that means they are the same position. So, iso, same, top, top position. So, same position, same position at the period. उस पीरियड में उसकी पोजीशन सेम है एंड आइसो बार इफ वी टॉक अबाउट आइसो इज सेम एंड बार स्टैंड फॉर वेट हियर सो इफ डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स हैविंग सेम एटॉमिक नंबर सॉरी सेम मतलब सर्टेन एलिमेंट्स आर हैविंग सेम एटॉमिक नंबर बट डिफरेंट मासेस वी कॉल देम आइसोटोप्स and if different elements are there or number of elements are there having same mass but different atomic number then we call it isobar the two things come what is isotope so what is atomic number what is mass number atomic number is the number of protons present inside an atom remember it is nothing to do with electron yes we can discuss with reference to electron when it is a neutral atom when atom atom is neutral Then the number of proton is equal to number of electrons is equal to atomic number. But actually, the number of proton is atomic number, and therefore, positronium has zero atomic number. And mass number is number of proton plus neutron, and therefore, positronium has atomic number mass zero as well as mass number zero because it does not contain any proton, any neutron. So isotopes are the elements having different mass number and same atomic number, and these are different. Uh, these are having same atomic number isotopes, same atomic number, different mass number. Here, different atomic number, same mass. Now the rule says, if the mass is same, property should be same. If mass is different, property should be different. But if we go for hydrogen, it is plutonium, it is deuterium. It is tritium. Yes. Now they have same property, but they have different mass. So the law is not satisfied with this concept. Then we have masses: argon 40, potassium 40, calcium 40. Now all have same mass number, but it is inert. It is highly active and less active. So again, the properties are varying. In spite of they are having same mass number, and this was the reason for failure of Mendeleev periodic table. If anybody asks, what is the Mende uh, failure of Mendeleev periodic table? It is nothing to do with weight. It is discussed in the these two concepts. As the isotopes and isobars were discovered, it was failed to explain these elements, and hence a new model, new periodic table came to existence, known as. Modern periodic table.